It came from the land of heat and plastic! And welcome to episode 4, The Moldy Crow. This past Thanksgiving, I spent some time with a cousin of mine who reminded me of the good old Jedi Knight games, the Dark Force games. Dark Forces games and Kyle Katarn and his ship, the Moldy Crow. He was talking about that made me wonder if there was a model on Thingiverse and sure enough there is a pretty cool model on there. He's got some nice details on it. Um, Only problem is it does not have any flat surfaces to attach to the build plate. And the other person who did this, they used um, a lot of rafts. I wanted to cut my model that model in half and use that to attach the bill plate. So I went to Thingiverse, got the model there, and I was going to use the free program named Tinkercad to easily divide this model in half so that it could attach to the build plate and I would use the minimal amount of supports and rafts and things like that because honestly I think you get a much cleaner looking model the trade-off is you're gonna have a seam on your model so you know some people would say oh that seam is way worse than any raft marks I don't know so go ahead and import your model into Tinkercad. I tipped it upright because this is how I kind of figured it'd be best to um, divide this. It would also allow me to get a slightly bigger print. I think I went with 1.6% when I ultimately printed this of the original size. Um, The model ended up being about 8 inches long. So I found a good spot that would give me the most amount of um, support and also notice here I was looking for a spot where I would not need a lot of supports right off the bat and I think that's a good spot right there. So what you do then is you just put a box in and it doesn't have to be, whoop, that wasn't quite right. Uh, meant to make the mocks bigger. You want to make it bigger than the model itself. It doesn't have to be very precise here, just bigger than the model. Make sure you cover the whole model. Okay, and then you group it as a whole. Make sure it's a whole. I'll speed through some of this. It takes a little time to do that on thing of uh, Tinkercad. Now you got your bottom half. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to want to duplicate that and then pull one of the copies off to the side and ungroup that hole there. Now this is the the simple part. Um, You just find out how tall your box is. It doesn't matter, whatever it is. So mine is 109. What you do is you make it negative 109 there and boom, it will cut off the other half. So then you group that and we'll speed through that process here a little bit um, as it groups it. Okay, now all you got to do is put that up on top of the platform, spin it, which you could do in your slicing software, but do it right here. And now you got, now I'll show you from underneath here how you've really maximized your surface area on the build plate and I found pretty much only the the gun turret there needs support and even then it doesn't really need support because my support ended up falling off in the print (laughs) which we'll see right here um, in our time lapse you see that support right there in the middle Oh, it fell off but you know what there was a few stringers there and I was able to melt them with my soldering iron and it looked great. And that's also the way that I attach the two pieces. Here we see the final print. Um, I like the detail on it, it's pretty good. You'll see the seam where I use my soldering iron to just go through there. Now if you really want to do something like a a show piece, I suppose you could spend more time soldering that and getting it just right and melting it and then sanding down that edge. If I 
I think I spent maybe five ten minutes sanding that I think it would look really a lot better so you get some of the details there of the cockpit um, the gun turret see there is the gun turret where it was stringers were I just took my soldering iron and melted those um, those bridge pieces look good I you could hardly tell it was there so it's pretty cool the moldy crow um, a bit of nostalgia only problem with this model is they forgot on the one side to put that little detail on that engine or whatever that is not a big deal otherwise it's a really cool model um, whoever put this up there they did a great, great job um, here it is okay let's check out the time-lapse one more time just for fun and a shout out to Jacob and Adam and hopefully we get a new viewer Matthew have a good day guys hope you enjoyed it